everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life, and I'm here today to film a review of Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. The subtitle on this is Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teachings of Plants. So I read this book um, both for Nonfiction November and for Indigathon, and it also um, fits the uh, prompt for November for the Indie Press Project, uh, which was to read a book published by Milkweed, which is a small independent publisher um, that publishes transformative literature, at least that's their purpose. Um, and this book is the second hardcover edition. Um, it had been published previously in a different edition um, hardcover, and I just love this naked hardback edition. Um, so Milkweed Press is a, or Milk, Milkweed Editions is a very excellent press um, that publishes a lot of nature nonfiction. Um, so I am, I've read a few other milkweed books in the past, but I can say that this book here is a stellar book. I had such a lovely time reading this. I buddy read it with Doris over at Aldi Books and, um, it was so amazing to read this with her and just discuss different topics that were brought up in the book. Um, Robin Wall Kimmerer, who is uh, a member of the Citizen po Potawatomi tribe. Um, and she is also professor, a professor of botany. Um, so she is we weaving together indigenous knowledge, indiz indigenous mythology, um, biological information about plants and animals, um, and memoir, uh, pieces of memoir about her life, uh, raising her two daughters, um, living on her farm in, uh, I believe in New York State, um, and just lots of different things woven together to really give you a picture of what it's like to live with plants and the land sort of in harmony or to try to do that as she is doing with her life. I have marked a passage that I want to share with you that I think really sets the tone for this book. Um, this is in the introduction. As a society, we stand at the brink. We know we do. Through a hole that opens at our feet, we can look down and see a glittering blue and green planet as if from the vantage point of space, vibrating with birdsong and toads and tigers. We could close our eyes, keep breathing poison air, witness the extinction of our relatives and continue to measure our worth by how much we take. We could cover our ears to our own knowing, back away from the edge and retreat to the gray decline. I just think that's lovely. That's the kind of writing that's throughout this book. She writes beautifully. Um, it's just very lyrical writing. So if you love beautiful nature writing, um, this is a great book. If you love uh, to learn about Native American mythology and Native American ways of knowing nature, that's in here. Um, if you want to think about um, our impact on the earth as humans and how our uh, market-driven economy is pushing our environment to the brink of collapse, that's in here. Um, there's a lot to chew on here and a lot to think about and it's all written in a lovely way. Um, I really, you can see from how much I tabbed this book, I got a lot out of this. I had a lot, um, we had a lot of great conversations about um, all different sorts of aspects. There's, you know, there's essays in here. These are all a collection of essays. Um, there's essays in here about braiding uh, sweetgrass baskets. There's essays in here about um, vernal pools and salamanders and how they migrate to those vernal pools. There's uh, discussions of old growth forests on the west coast of the U.S. Um, there's a discussion of how you can restore um, a small pond on your property if it's been taken over with algae and weeds and sort of getting choked out if that's even possible. Um, there's discussion of, of industrial pollution and what that does to the environment. She talks about raising her children and wanting to connect her children with nature and how she, you know, wove uh, interactions with nature into their lives when her children were young, um, all that sort of stuff. So it really touches on a lot of topics. Um, I think if you like um, nature memoir and in, in particular, this book is for you. Um, if you love beautiful writing in general, this book is for you. If you're interested in reading more about indigenous knowledge, um, especially of plants, definitely this book is for you. Um, there's even uh, uh, some essays in here about her early days as a teacher and the mistakes that she made um, uh, in engaging young people in nature. And I thought that was really, really interesting and uh, informative in terms of um, 
what makes a good teacher and how teachers uh, learn to be good teachers. Um, so yeah, I can't praise this book highly enough. It is wonderful. I am so glad that I read this in the month of November and I hope that you will pick it up as well. I'm looking forward to reading more books put out by Milkweed Press um, in the future. Um, I plan to do that, uh, pick up some more titles in 2021. Um, so stay tuned for those. I hope you're all having a great day and finding some good books to read. I'll talk to you later.